So, Baruch Abba, we are starting a, uh, a, a series on the prohibition of going to secular courts. In particular, a very interesting teshuvah from the Bidafen Ankawa in regards to secular courts, something that is extremely relevant nowadays. And I've seen Bidafen Ankawa, and I saw Puskim. Um, uh, Puskim nowadays, Puskim uh, um, bring down this Tishuva Rabbi Fanakawa as a major heter to the question we're going to discuss. The question that we're going to discuss is somebody able to go to a secular arbitration, to a non Jewish arbitration that's not going according to secular law. He's just a, 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 a non-Jewish arbitrator, or does that violate the prohibition going to secular courts? So let us start discussing a, a very short Hagdama. What is the prohibition of going to secular court? It says in the Torah, Barashat Mishpatim, Ve'ele ha-mishpatim asher tasim lifnehem. Rashi says over there, Ve'ele ha-mishpatim, Ele, and the Rashi says that one is not allowed to go to uh, 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 to, to non to Jewish courts. The exact lashon is lifnehem velo lifne velo velo lifne arkot shel obde kochavim. The mekor is from the Gemara Masechet Gitin, the pechet amud bet. It says lifnehem velo lifne akum. And the Ramban discusses the the, the prohibition. Also, Rashi says because it's hilul Hashem. It's a desecration of God's name that you're going to the non-Jewish uh, system, uh, the non-Jewish system of laws, and you're not going to Torah Moshe Rabbeinu. And Rashi says, and you are giving importance to the elilim. One would think that maybe that doesn't apply to the courts of the Yishmaelim, to the courts that are not of the elilim, that are not of the Abu Dazara. But in truth, if you look at the lashon of the Rambam, the Rambam says. Harizik, uh, somebody who goes to secular court in the end of Ha'idim Chot Sanedrin, the Rambam says, Harizik ilu merim yad b'torat Moshe Rabbeinu ala v'ashalom. It's as if you are lifting your hand against the Torah of Moshe Rabbeinu ala v'ashalom, that you are saying that those law, laws of Moshe Rabbeinu are not good enough. Nothing to do with, with Abu Dazara or not Abu Dazara. And even Rashi, his Mekor is from the Midrash Tan Huma. If you look inside the Midrash Tan Huma, the main point is that we are leaving the eternal laws of the Torah, and you're going for a quick fix of the secular laws, which is not what the intention of the Torah was, whenever somebody has a dealing with another Jew, so that he should be forsake according to the Torah, Tenu HaKidusha. So al Panim is forbidden to go to secular law. Not only that, the Hazanish and others say that even Jews who are being forsaken according to secular law, like the court system in Israel, it is the biggest Hilul Hashem. Rabbi Vadi Yosef in Yehavedat has a teshuvah about this. I believe it's at the end of Chedek Dalit where he says that, that it's, the, it's, it's, it's even a bigger Hilul Hashem going to the, the Jewish courts in Eretz Israel that, that are based on, on non-Jewish law. Because a, a, a Jewish people taking non-Jewish law, what bigger Hilul Hashem could be born? More than that, he says, and a lawyer that is hired not to defend, to defend could be something different, but to prosecute inside a inside such a court system is a sur. He says it's a it's a, it's a, you're being misayah of reavira, not our subject. What we wanted to discuss is that <clears throat> what constitutes a secular court, what constitutes a a court of uh, of uh, of goyim that would be uh, that w- that would be prohibited. So here we have a very interesting. Here we have a very interesting machlok. It says in the Gemara, it says in the in the, in the Shulchan Aruch, the, the Hilchot Arkaot is in Choshen Mishpat Siman Chavav. But it says in the Shulchan Aruch Siman Chavbet in Choshen Mishpat, it says the following. It says the following. If a person accepted upon himself as a Dayan, as somebody who's Pasun, like a family member, or somebody who's not allowed to be a Dayan, in Kibel Alav, so that could be that could work, but then the Shulchan Aruch says in Kibel Alav Akum, if he accepted upon himself a non-Jew as a Dayan and Dinodin, Avinu Kanim Inye and Kinyan Klum. Says the Ramah, nevertheless, if he already donned, if the non-Jew already gave a psak, even though you were not allowed to go to him, because that's like you're going to secular law, but he already gave a psak, so the, then, and they made a kinyan on it, so in a psak was there, so they, so they follow that rule. 
the Shach brings such a such a makor. He says, really, the makor of the Rama is mashma. Is is it, it would apply that even lechatchila, even that even by priority, you're you're allowed to go to the to the non-Jew uh, and accept his din upon yourself. The Shach is not exactly clear why. The Sefer Arucha Shulchan mentions this Rama and he's at this Shach and he says the explanation is like this. If you hear, and he doesn't say the word Akum, he brings Aravi. It could be that he was a, a, the 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 Aruch HaShulchan, even though he lived in Lithuania, he was originally Svaradi, but it could be he wrote Aravi because of the censorship. A lot of times he worried about censorship. And he writes over there in the Aruch HaShulchan, Siman Chavbet, Otchet, he says, Avalim Kibel Alav, I'll, I'll read you the exact version. Avalim Kibel Lismoch Alav, Al Pimashi Adun, Al Pihavat Da'ato, he accepted upon himself according to his logic, Velo Danim, Velo Bedini Makavua, not according to their laws. Let's consider like you're accepting upon himself for this halakha and it would be allowed. So according to Aruch HaShulchan, you're allowed to go to a non-Jewish arbitrator. As long as he's not going according to civil law, he's going according to what he seems to be. Okay, now a mediator is always allowed to go to because a mediator, you don't have to accept what he says, just listen to what he says. And if you decide it's okay, you get, you, 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 you're a muhel zilazin, that would be allowed. But an arbitrator, we have to listen to what they're saying. Aruch HaShulchan says, even though you're going to a non-Jew, but he's not going to the civil courts, it would be allowed. The Nitivot HaMishpat argues. Nitivot HaMishpat says no. And Naruch Hashan writes, De loke Nitivot HaMishpat. He says that even to go to a, a, a single Dayan non-Jew that he's going to paskin on himself and both of you accept it is forbidden. Now, in the Sefer Pa'amunis Zahav of Rabbi Rafael and Kawa and Siman Chavav, he brings a very interesting um, minhag, the minhag of Rabat and Saleh. The minhag of Rabat and Saleh is whenever there would be a mahloket, specifically of Makot, Hakaot, and Chabalot, one person hit the other and there was damages. So the, he says the Minhag is that they would go to the Sar Umoshel Hayir. They would go to the head, the, to the head general in the city for complaints. And ask the, ask the Rabbi Rafael, how could that be? It's like you're going to the Arkaot of Goyim. And that should be forbidden. So Rabbi Rifan Kawab, in his words, says as a svara, exactly like the Aruch HaShulchan. They were mechaven to each other. They lived far away from each other, but the Torah is one Torah, and they were mechaven to each other. Rabbi Rifan Kawab says like this, that if, 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 if it seems to him that if you go to the Goy, you're not going to him for their laws. You're just going because... As a arbitrator between both of you, you're not you're you are and and and, and it's not it's not accepted like 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 total total laws. Says the says the uh, says the Rabbi Rafael, that would be that that would be permitted, and therefore and, and, and therefore he says maybe that would be a smach. Nevertheless, he proves that this would only be in that opinion. But according to the Shulchan Aruch, the Shulchan Aruch seems to say anytime you accept to find yourself in Kibel Elav Akum, Mashma, whether it's one, whether it's others. So according to Shulchan Aruch, he says this heter wouldn't fly and it wouldn't be okay. So brings the brings the Aruch, brings the the the. Um, the 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 pa'amun is have another header. He brings from the Ikre Adat and the Knesset Akedula that they said that since the minhag was that they would accept upon themselves whenever they there would be such a fight that they would go to the Sar Ha'ir. It's like Meikara Kiblu Adaita Dehachi. It's like they accepted upon themselves this set of this specific laws that it would be allowed. And in this case, he says minhag mevatel halacha and it would be permitted. So what would be the halacha? I actually I actually asked a couple of Dayanim and they seem to imply that the that, that the minhag is that if you want to go to an arbitrator, not to pass it according to civil law, but just so that they should go according to their to their uh, mediating abilities. An arbitrator, even if he's not Jewish, he wouldn't be violating Arkaot because there is what to rely on regarding the Aruch Hashulchan. Not only that, we mentioned that Ibn Fakawa mentions a similar Svara, and he said that if it's in a place where everybody agrees to go to a certain to a certain Sarhair for a certain these certain halachot, it's not necessarily violating secular law. Similarly, there's a couple there's very similar cases in regards, let's say somebody wants to go to uh, let's say somebody wants to enter a diamond exchange. And the only way to enter the diamond exchange is that if you accept upon yourself that if you're going to have a machlok between somebody else, even though the person is Jewish, you go to a panel that they have to discuss. Is that called Arkaot? So many poskim say that's not called Arkaot because you're not accepting upon some body of laws. You're accepting upon these arbitrators according to their sechel how to go to. So to the Tzitz Eliezer and Chelek Yudalef as a teshuva regarding condominiums that each one get together and if they have a fight they go to the condominium panel over there. He wants to say it's permitted.
Rabbi Yashem argued on that Tzitzit of Yezer, and he said that since that was government enforced, and it was according to government law, it was forbidden. But if it's not government law, it seems that everybody would agree that you accept upon yourself a specific body, that wouldn't be a prohibition. So that's what we learned today, just to review. Even though there's a cat, there's a prohibition to go to secular law, and you're not allowed to go to secular law, you're not allowed to help somebody go to secular law, unless there are certain conditions that the person doesn't want to go to secular law, and that we'd have to have another shi'ud for maybe next week. But so far, we learned that even though one is not allowed to go, if if one accepts upon himself a dayan, an arbitrator, the Aruf Hashem says it's allowed. And the Rabbi Falan brought a similar svara. And he said that another svara, that if, if people accept upon themselves, he cannot go to that arbitrator, that for sure, for sure, be okay. Hazakubar.